Hello, I'm David. Hi, I'm Julie. Now we're going to do a lightning review of Really Loud Librarians. It's a party game, and it says here, a merciless word-shouting board game for ages 8 and up, two or more players. It takes about 20 minutes to play. Now, this is by the same company who does Exploding Kittens. Oh, I didn't know now, that. You can play with two players here. We did. So you'll see you have these plastic rings here that you have to snap together. This shows you we're going to be flipping up cards, trying each team, and we're a team of one, <laughs> okay? Flipping up cards and trying to come up with words that match the category. Now, the rule book doesn't have any rules as to whether or not you can use foreign language. Like, for instance, I used a Spanish word uh, in, one, in one game, yeah. Uh, or you can do que paso, you know. Uh, because we had to come up with, I had to come up with words that started with Q. It had, that had Q in it, sorry. Q in it. So here, though, we have two librarians. One is named Gertrude. They're so cute. Okay, and then this is Wilfred. Gertrude always goes first, so Gertrude would go on the E. Ladies first. And when the card flips up, if I'm Gertrude, I'd have to come up with a word that starts with L, S, or K. But before that, Gertrude, before Gertrude, we flip up the card, we have to flip a bonus letter here. So if I'm able to get all the way over here to G, I get a bonus point. And so if I get furthest on this track, coming up with words as it goes down like this, I'm going to demonstrate here in a minute, and I manage to come up with, get all the way over here and come up with a word that starts with G, I'll get a bonus point. Now, if I win the race, I'll get one point for winning and one point for, for G. But if Julie wins the race, she gets further than me on the track with her category, because we'll switch out here, she'll score the point. And the first to, to get up to 12 points here wins. You use these to keep track of laps. So if you manage to lap, so you, you use Wilfred here to keep track that we started at E, okay? And we flip, so first thing you do is you flip up a bonus letter. You decide if you're gonna play with one, two, three, or four. So if we're playing with ones, you flip it up and there's a one. If you're playing with two, you flip it up like this. If you're playing with the three categories, you turn over the whole deck, okay, or three or four. So we're gonna play with the ones so, and here's a timer here. Yeah, I have a minute to come up with as many categories as I can, and I'm limited to L, S, and K at first. So, here we go, flip it up. Okay, animals at a zoo. A leopard, I don't have to go in order. A boar. Jeez. Uh, I'll say cattle. Now, Julia can challenge me, so let's not in a zoo, if she really wanted to. A zoo? Yeah, you can have cattle in a zoo. No, you can't. Why not? Because they cow. live on the farm. Yeah, well, it could be zoo. a farm zoo. So, so she's challenged me, right? You lay it down like that, and then we can argue about it and uh. take a vote. But let's say she allowed it, okay? So I, I'm having trouble seeing from this angle here. J. J. P. T. Uh, a J. Uh, a jackal. A G, a giraffe. So then I got my bonus point. And let's say that's as far as I get here, okay? So then I take my guy off, I take off Gertrude, and I show where I left off, because that's where the next round's gonna begin. Now we don't flip up another letter yet. Julie still starts here at E, and she has to beat me. And Are you gonna make me do this? <laughs> right, oh, so, God. Okay. so here we go. Oh, so I'll be getting two points if Julie doesn't beat me. So here we go. Olympic events. Um, skiing. Uh, let's see here. Um, oh, and it could be summer or winter. I know, I'm thinking. Um, Oh, downhill racing. Okay, that's good. Uh, um, uh, maybe water polo? I don't know, okay. I'm guessing. That is one. All right, um, so 
that's as far as Julie got. I got further, so I would score two points because I did get to the G. Nice. And I'd have two points. Now, we'd start all the way over here. Take my little guy out. Julie would come out. I would go in. Start the next round. Now L would have a bonus. And he'd keep on adding letters every round, so you'll see it would be easier to score points. But this interesting thing is you can score a lot of bonus letters, but if the other person gets further than you, they will get the bonus and you won't. So you play until each team gets to their first, and the game immediately ends. Now, if you go the same length, let's say we both went to K on this one. No one scores points. Mm. So that's a, that's another little... I was wondering about that, yeah. if you if you tied if how, you, how that would work. Right, nobody scores points. Okay. Right. right, so that is... So now I have to tell you how we... Let's, get, let's talk about the review. So yep. that way we just do a quick uh, how to play and a little yep. bit of a playthrough. Oh. You're just all over the place. There we go. <laughs> so is it a fun game to play? Yeah. Yeah, it's fun. I think it's fun. For a party game, it's solid. Mm -hmm. Okay, the theme is interesting. It is. I do because, like that. Because, you know, you're not supposed to shout in the library. And having worked in the library for, for a decade being a tutor, yeah, it does bring back memories. I think it's fun. Yeah, yeah, you get to finally be loud and, in there. And, and playing with a party, you, and it's, you will be shouting things out. It, it's going to have a, uh, with a team, you are going to have more fun. I just think it would be a little confusing with everybody yelling at you and trying to figure out which letter they're trying to do and make sure you don't screw up. <laughs> well, that's what you got to listen, right? Uh, the art is a goofy art. I like the goofy art. The little people are really cute. And that's pretty much the only art. Mm -hmm. Okay. The graphic design is solid. It can be difficult to see the rings at certain angles. You yeah. might have to move it around a little bit. So that, that's my only complaint. But the track is nice. It stays in the track. Mm -hmm. uh, what else was do we have here? Uh, the components. The components. The components are decent quality. I mean, they're not the thickest cardboard. Okay. But they don't really need to be because they're just laying on top of the right. board. But you gotta understand, if you play a game a lot, they can start wearing oh, down. Oh, okay. sure. But they're, sure. they're decent enough. Mm -hmm. The cards are average. You're not gonna shuffle them that much. They're average quality. Mm -hmm. Now, here's the thing that is disappointing. These score score markers are weird. Really, they kind of do something better. I guess I just want them to stay in there because if you're moving this around, you don't want to bump it and I have know, but here's the thing. thing fall out. I would have, I would have rather have had black cube, you know, a white and black cube. Oh. Okay, you're gonna, you're gonna. This is custom made here. Oh okay, yeah. Okay, so you did molding for this. You have a nice stand here and that, but why wouldn't you? You can get a black and white cube, and even have something stamped on it. Sure. So this is low quality here that's just a, a weird thing there i don't i can't see these lasting over time either well then you'll eventually get a black and white Maybe. from a different game or something but I, I wonder who came with that decision did they say oh we can't afford it okay maybe that was the case Maybe. what you don't know we weren't there right uh the complexity is fine it's easy to play mm -hmm. you, it really is ages ain't up however age and experience and will will benefit players Definitely. that have more experience with life or just and words. also those that don't have cognitive disabilities will it i, I struggle but it's good it's a good struggle because it really makes well, my you, brain you think. almost beat me because it just depends mm -hmm. on the categories it does it totally depends on the categories uh playing time is fine mm -hmm. because what happens is it starts ramping up as soon as you get more of these letters out scoring starts, goes faster goes faster it's Way a little faster. slow slow start okay but as you start getting more letters out it's the awesome game yeah so that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. It doesn't overstay its welcome. No. Agent Honest, like I said, it's appropriate. You agree, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, definitely. Yeah, Design yeah. mechanics, uh, it's fine. I okay. Think they ex in, in the rule book, explains it well. The only thing I, w I think it should have had, it should have given more advice on a, a proper nouns included, like people, like, pe like we had one word, naming, come up with things that remind you of New York. Why name the person? Well... Oh, are, yeah. you able to, are you able to use proper nouns? Okay. Because you can give the person's first name, but in order to have the context, you've got to give their first and last name. That's true. So it doesn't have really much advice on that. Like I said, in foreign language. In foreign languages. What about acro you know, what if it was acronyms? or What are those again? That, acronyms? Uh, well, like NASA, the, the National Aeronautical oh, Space. Oh, when you system. shorten the word. Right. Okay. okay. Gotcha. 
it's, it doesn't. It could have more advice than that. So you might have to decide on how you're going to handle that. Yeah. Before. What do they just call house rules? Yeah, house rules. Yeah. Educational merit. Yeah, this is a game oh, you can play with a total class. So here's the other thing. If you're, oh, that would if, be fun. If you're a teacher, and you have a document camera. You can put this on the document camera and, and divide up your class into two groups. Oh, that would be fun. And it develops, and you can come up with your own cards if you really wanted to come up with things that tie into a unit. Say you you want to practice your science unit or your mm -hmm. science terms at the end of the quarter, end of the semester. You can do that. You can tie it into to what you're sure. studying very easy. You don't have to use the cards. What about even having the kids make up cards? Right, that too. Yeah. You can do that too. Yeah. This is what you would be paying for as a teacher. This is what would get kids interested in. Oh, heck yeah. Okay. They'd love to be able to do that, move yeah, that thing well, around. The teacher would have to do it on the document oh, camera oh. unless you have someone from each team do it. But you would have to have uh, you would have to have a child that's capable of keeping track. Oh, sure. Not every child, depending on the age level, can keep up with all the words that are going to be shouted. Yeah. So you might have That'd to have the hard. adult be the referee, in other words. Yeah. So if you want to develop vocabulary, especially for second language learners, Oh, uh, yeah. This is a great... I'm going to recommend this game when I present at Gen Con for total class use. Oh, nice. Because yeah, there's not many games you can play on document cameras where you can play with the whole class. There are, and I'll be going, providing that in the, in the seminar as to games you'd recommend for small groups mm -hmm. and then total class. This is one. This is one? This is one of the few that... You, so we're taking this with us. Yeah. Well, I'll be showing it anyway. Oh. So let's talk about how we'd rate it. Oh, I'd say seven. Usually willing to play. So if I say you want to play this, you'd be okay with it. Well, no, I'm going to say six. Yeah, same with me. It's a yeah. six. Because we don't play many word games. The game is solid. There's nothing wrong with it. Oh, this. no, no. It's a solid party game, and it does mm -hmm. play well with two players. It it's does. just that we don't play this category that much. No. So for us, we have to be in the mood for it. Yeah. But and it we have to not be tired either. Right. And it doesn't knock the design and no. how it plays. No. It's just for us, there's other category of games we'd rather play. Mm-hmm. So if you're looking for a word game or a party game, this, this might be one. an eight, a nine, or a ten for you. Yeah. For educational purposes, this will be on my recommendation list to have. That's awesome. So that means it would be a higher rating for yeah. teachers. All right. So that's our review, our lightning review of really loud librarians. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. We'll see you in the next video. All right. Bye bye. Bye.